The best advice I took from my heavenly father was to be sit, be still. I will fight for you. Don't fight back. Don't do anything. I got you. And that is so hard for a lot of us today when people come up against us, when they are spreading false uh, untruths about us, false information. And it can be someone as close as a family member, cousin, aunt, uh, uh, ex best friend you cut off years ago that is on purpose spreading lies and setting up plots and stuff or an ex that you used to date that is angry that y'all aren't together so they're doing whatever they can to you know paint a horrible picture of you we have to and it's very hard but once you see the power that god can do in your life once you just let God take the will, you'll be like, wow, I should have been letting my father, you know, fight everything for me because God see every single plot and plan of the wicked and he hears everything. I, that's the main thing. He hears everything. So you could be riding with your enemy right now. You could be sleeping next to your enemy right now. And God is like, you know what? I got you. I'm going to expose everything about this person so you can move away from this person because they secretly cannot stand you. They secretly want to kill you. They secretly want to steal from you. I got you. I'm going to expose, I'm going to shine the light on everything this person is doing. God will do it. And all you got to do is hold your peace. Just sit back, let God work. Don't, if you receive a, a call or a text. Now, let me say this. Sometimes if people have been convicted by God and they decide to reach out to you because God's convictions is pretty tough and they and they feel it on their heart to apologize and make things right, then hear them out. You don't have to go and get ice cream with them afterwards, but if they want to apologize, make things right, right their wrongs, balance the scales, then I'm all for that. But you got people that are petty. They'll play on your phone. They'll try to just, you know, do all kinds of wickedness behind the scenes. Just hold your peace. Pray to God. Let God know what's going on. God already knows, but just go in prayer. Go in prayer mode and watch how quick God moves on your behalf. So, yeah, in certain situations, I felt in the past I need to clear certain lies and stuff up. But then, at the, and then I was just like, you know what, this is causing me my peace. Why? You know, people that truly know me, spent time with me, and truly know who I am, they know I'm a good person. They know I wouldn't hurt a fly. But you have people that are wicked, and they operate in that dark energy, and they just wake up in the morning looking for ways of how they can be a burden or a blockage or just whatever in other people's lives. You know, how can I mess this person's life up? So... I'm praying for those people because I really want you to turn to God. I really want you to heal from that because it's like something seriously broken you that make you feel like you have to just spend your entire days stalking, talking about, or trying to figure out how you can hurt somebody. It just does not make sense. But again, let God fight those battles. Stop uh, losing sleep. You know, don't lower your vibration for these people. But I do want you to pray for them and hope that they seek the light that they are missing in their lives. And um, yeah, I sleep good at night. I try to watch what I pay attention to. It's not easy sometimes. You know, certain videos on YouTube, I'll get drawn in. I'm like, oh my gosh. But um, yeah, I, um, I watch what I focus on and I watch what I give my energy to. I try to. And that makes my life very peaceful. And yeah. So another quick message. I'll see you in the next video.